I just got my Qualm Access uh, Mini Windows uh, PC here. It's an HDMI stick that's a full copy of Windows 8 on it with an Atom processor. Uh, you've seen a lot of these pop up lately, but this one is made by the same people who make Lite, which is a great little mini PC. Uh, but this is an HDMI stick. So let's pop this thing open and see what we find here. So, and then after we do the unboxing, we will come back and test it and give you a full review. All right, so right here is the actual device. Uh, pretty basic power cord, universal adapter, not all that unexpected. There we go. So, right there's the power box. Nothing special right about that. It is a standard micro USB cable, so I wonder how that will work with other micro USB chargers. Probably needs a higher charge rate than your cell phone, so I wouldn't recommend charging, plugging this to your cell phone. So a few things here, uh, no remote, but you know it's got a USB port on it, so work with any. Right there's your power input, your power button, uh, micro USB over here too, and a DTF slot. So with the antenna for it, looks pretty good, standard. You know, it's meant to hit, hide behind your TV. You're not really gonna be staring at this, but it grips, no fans, no nothing, just a atom processor on it. So there's really not a lot else to say about that. It's, it's a pretty straightforward little manual right here. And you know, here's one of the great things about quantum um, suppliers. This is their um, help card. Let's see if I can get it without it being all blurry. There we go. They are based out of Florida and they have live, um, lifetime phone and email and forums tech support. So unlike a lot of the other companies overseas where you're kind of on your own when you buy it, Quantum does a good job of staying behind what they have. So right here's what you get basically. Plug, HDMI stick, and um, manual and call for help there. Right back here is their email, their phone number, excuse me, see here, back here, phone number, email, and website. So highly recommend this for just the tech support part so far. Well, I'll test this out, come on back and give you a full review. So I've been testing out the Axis for a while now, very impressed with it. Now, one thing you need to know about before going farther, it does not come with a remote. You do need an additional remote or wireless keyboard. I'm using the um, RE i8 Plus wireless keyboard. It's got a touchpad at the top, full keyboard bomb, directional arrows, play, pause, volume, all that kind of stuff on it. Really love this. I'll link to my review of the i8 Plus in the comments down below. Very pleased with this uh, small keyboard here. Um, nope, I accidentally launched the help menu, did not mean to do that. Now, since it's Windows 8.1, you got all the features you expect. Skype, Mail, um, Netflix, Hulu, uh, Watch ESPN, Kodi works on it. Amazon will work through the browser, does not at this time, to my knowledge, have an official uh, Windows 8.1 client. So let's test out Netflix real quick. So I was running this little test sync. Let's kind of load this, get you an idea how quickly the videos load. Um, so you see very quick. This is a test pattern that Netflix has available. Um, just kind of give you an idea how smooth it is. Uh, no stuttering, no lag. Now I do have a camera pointing at the TV, so that may affect the quality you are seeing, but it looks great to me. Very smooth. Uh, let's hop out on Netflix here. Uh, and let's go over to Kodi. Um, full version of Kodi here, works great. You can pin it to the, the desktop there. Um, let's kind of play a quick video on here, give you an idea of the quality of Kodi. As you can see, jumping through the menus is pretty quick. Of course, when it comes to loading an add-on, um, playing videos, it's all dependent on your internet speed. I got a 10 down, uh, one up connection. And I've been very happy with that, but keep that in mind. You know, mine's, I don't have the, exactly the fastest internet in the world. So um, one other thing to remember as we kind of go through the loading here is you, um, there's only one USB port. So if you have an external hard drive you want to plug into this device to run off Kodi, tons of gigabytes, you may want to look at the Quam Byte. It's a Windows 8 little mini PC. 
um, little mini PC that works great, streams um, all the content just as well, if not better than this, because it's a bigger device with a better processor in it. Uh, but it also has three USB ports, allowing you to plug in multiple external hard drives of terabytes of storage. Now, the thing with the Axis is if you have another computer in the house, you can use Plex or even XBMC to pull the files off that computer as a media server and play them here. So let me um, let's kind of hit play here. So as you can see, very smooth XBMC playing. Very happy with it. So let's exit out and go um, back to the home page. So we go right here. There we go. So right here, as you can see, 23 gigabytes after I installed everything and all the Windows updates, everything it leaves me 18 and a half gigabytes of storage available. And I, I'm impressed. I'm happy with it. You can um, go into the store and you can download more apps. You can install stuff through a browser. It just works great. Highly recommend this as a Windows computer for your um, TV. There are still a lot of great reasons to have a Windows or a uh, Mac computer, a lot of content still only available through a web browser that Roku or Fire TV or Apple TV may not have. The ability to stream the Super Bowl legally was on a web browser, but they had no official app um, for your Roku, for your Fire TV, and so on. This uh, settles all those issues and allows you to say, hey, you know, NBC is streaming the Super Bowl, Fox is streaming this, CBS is streaming that. I just go to their website, pull it up, and there it is. If you have any questions, let me know, but I would give this a 10 out of 10. Um, smooth, fast, I mean, let's go back into Netflix real quick here and play this video. Launch in the app real quick, launch into the um, the video quick, and it's smooth. The quality's great, I muted this. Um, now, I'm using the um, i wireless keyboard right here. As you can see, the um, buttons on it work great to control this. So. 10 out of 10, leave my, your questions, comments on here. If you like this video, you like these reviews, please subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting a lot more of them in the future.